Hey everyone, so I figured I would do another high chair review. So this is the Soki Trip Trap. I've already done an in-depth um, review of the Soki Trip Trap and why we love it. And then we recently, well I guess it's not recent anymore, it's been about a year, um, actually over a year, purchased the, sto the Ikea Antelope um, high chair, which we really like. And so we figured we would compare um, the two um, and then reasons why we love the antelope so both of them are um, high chairs that we are using and i'll kind of you know fill you in on why we're using them both and then they're at kind of opposite ends of the spectrum in regards to cost so the stokey is a little over 300 and the ikea antelope is 30 dollars, so definitely a huge difference um, and i'll kind of explain how we feel that they're very similar um despite you know the huge um price difference and you know features that we like of both of them so i'm gonna grab the camera and kind of give you like a close-up um so that you can kind of see what i'm talking about so here are the two high chairs. So again, this is the Stokey Trip Trap and this is the Ikea Antelope. So um, let me just quickly, and I didn't pop the tray on both of them just so I can one-handedly easy, easily pop it off. But so things that, this, that aren't standard um, that we've upgraded, so to speak, with the Antelope is, you know, this. So the, the legs would just be a, like a silver, but we bought these vinyl leg wraps so that it looks a little bit nicer. So it looks like a wood grain. You can buy it on Amazon, Etsy. There's, you know, all different types of wood grain colors or just solid colors like black, silver, pink, you know, what have you. So you can, you know, kind of spruce it up and make it a little bit more of a cute height chair. <laughs> and then also this you know, footrest. We purchased it at Amazon, but you can also purchase it at Etsy and in different colors. And I know there's ones that are wooden and I've seen, you know, like, um, like fabric ones. There's a whole bunch of different like footrest um, options that you can purchase. And yes. So the only thing that I will say, the footrest for us, so Paxton's our little wild child. So he does like to kick and he is very strong because I mean, he's, he's, well, he's over two now, but when we were using it with him, he was um, one and a half. So he would kick this off. So the way you put, so you put this in between the two little rubber things that um, the wood come the footrest comes with, and then what Paxson does is he pushes on it so hard that he pushes the little rubber thing so these things he will like slide down and then once you get it far enough down then this easily pops off and then falls to the ground <laughs> and then obviously defeats the purpose of having a footrest because this high chair is it wasn't you know isn't something that we use every single day um we never really you know try to figure out a way to prevent that from happening honestly we just use it more since we use it more it's just like our to go um like on the go high chair we didn't want to have like a this permanently made on so to speak because we were talking like if this was in our home we could always add like a little zip tie because that would be harder for you know him to slide down because that's super tight if we put a little zip tie here anyways that's the only thing that we really did to upgrade the high chair um but there's other things that you can purchase like little mats to you know kind of personalize it but that's what the um ikea antelope high chair looks like and then again i'm not going to go into depth with the stokey because i do have a an in-depth video but i will compare some of the features that we loved about the stokey that the ikea um, high chair also has you take the tray off both of them you know you can easily push up to the table which is a nice feature because then your child can be part of the dinner table um so currently we aren't using the tray for paxton anymore we are just using you know the stokey as is right there um he really we aren't really worried about him like falling out because he is almost two and a half, but we still have him in the high chair setup. So with, you know, this and the straps because he would otherwise get in and out of the high chair 
and we don't want that because you know if he's eating spaghetti sauce we have a light color couch and white walls so we do not want him to run all over the place so this way he is kind of stuck and he has to wait for us to get him out and we can wipe his hands before he runs loose um but yeah so both of them like i said you can push up to the table um and then both of them the way the child sits in them is very upright you know because they're not it's not like reclined or a lot of the high chairs you know aren't in that upright position which just isn't it's just not good um for you know creating good eating habits because this encourages your child to sit with an upright posture and they're not just like basically lounging or slouching as they are eating and then as i had mentioned when you do if you purchase the little footrest then you are able to also have your feet planted while you're eating um, which studies have shown that that's important um, and you can adjust it and then obviously the stokey it comes with a little slit so you're able to adjust the the foot to rest um, what the stokey has that the um, antelope does not is you know once you take out this um, like the high chair converter bar thing in the back with the with the straps then essentially it's like a booster chair and you know you can have your child in it longer because you know what we're seeing is Paxson is almost two and a half and it's it's a little bit harder to get him in through there because he is getting bigger um, and so eventually you know his legs won't really fit through there anymore and then he'll just you know, he can sit up on that chair and it'll be like a booster chair obviously this one when they outgrow you know the little footholds um, then they offer their high chair so it won't grow with you. Um, a feature that we like about the um, IKEA high chair that the Stokey doesn't have is obviously this is a lot bulkier, it's all wooden. So this one, I mean, yeah, you can take it apart, but you're not gonna take it apart and travel with it or take it with you to a restaurant. This, you know, you can pop off like I did the tray and then you can um, just push that in and remove all the legs and take it with you to, let's say you're going out to dinner you can have bring your own high chair which this is actually what we use the high chair for so you know i found that the high chairs in restaurants were always really dirty and i felt like they just weren't nice and clean and you know there were some restaurants where we went to where you know the typical high chairs at restaurants they don't have a tray option and when he was younger when you pushed him up to the table, you know, there'd be a big gap or he really couldn't reach it. Or sometimes it was at restaurants where we didn't want him to have access to the table because then he could, you know, burn his hands um, on the plates or on things that were on the table. So it was better for him to have his own tray where he would have his food. So that was one of the reasons why we brought our own high chair. We kind of had this in the car and we were able to just assemble it and then you know take it into the restaurant um and then this is also easier to clean because it's just essentially a plastic so you can hose it off out front i mean out back and you know not have to worry about you know damaging the wood the stokey you know it is wooden so i mean obviously there's components that are plastic but it is you know the main frame is wooden so obviously we wouldn't be able to like drench it in water because it would damage it so in regards to portability and being able to just kind of easily hose it down without having to worry you know the ikea high chair definitely wins there so as you can see, even though, you know, the Stokey is $300 and the Ikea high chair is $30, I would say they have, they're similar in that they keep your child upright in an upright position. You know, with the addition of this, you're able to, uh, with the addition of the footrest, you're able to ha have your child's legs be planted and essentially it grows with your child until they outgrow the whole high chair seat thingy um and then like i said this one's inexpensive so you can have multiple of them you can have one in the car that you take with you to restaurants or when you travel you can have one at grandma's house um and so it's just you're not gonna most likely unless you you really want to spend you know 300 dollars multiple times you're not gonna buy multiple stokies so 
right now Adeline is only um, a month old so she just turned a month a couple of days ago so she's not in a high chair yet um, and Paxton is in the Stokey and like I said this one right now I mean we don't take it to restaurants anymore just because he's at the age where you know he can just sit at the table and he's he's better at listening at restaurants than he is at home but we do sometimes use it so the other day um, we put this outside and he had a craft so he was painting because we again wanted him contained because he isn't the greatest listener and we didn't want him running off and then painting you know the side of our house so we took that outside and he he painted in it um, when Adeline is able to eat so in just a few months most likely we'll start her off in the in the ikea high chair just because paxton will most likely still be in his high chair because i don't think in the next few months he, he, we will be able to put him in our um like trust him sitting at the table without being <laughs> strapped in because i think we will still have to worry about him just taking off and smearing pasta all over the place uh spaghetti sauce so most likely paxton will still be here and then adeline will start here and then as um you know Paxson is able to sit and stay at the table or at least wait till he wipes off his hands before he takes off then he'll then hopefully we'll be able to transition Adeline into the Stokey and not have to buy another one because it is expensive so that's kind of our game plan and our hope um, but if not you know if Paxson is going to stay in this um, the Stokey high chair longer then we may need to buy a second one but Again, because of the price, we would prefer to not have to buy another one. But anyway, so that is a comparison of the two. So definitely, um, we like both high chairs. Um, Stokey definitely has a hefty price tag. So if, if you're looking for a way less expensive option, um, definitely my recommendation would be the IKEA high chair. And then if... If you do, we'll have the soak, you already have a high chair. Um, the Ikea is definitely a good um, secondary high chair that you can have that you can either take you know, to restaurants or to you know, use when you travel because it, it's easy to disassemble and it's very inexpensive. So hopefully you found this review helpful and if you're in the market for a high chair, you'll kind of, this is a comparison of two very different um, price ranges. Um, so I will talk to you guys soon.